After nearly a decade, Scorn has finally arrived, and I'm quite ecstatic to what the survival horror fans are about to experience. Now you might be asking me, what exactly is Scorn? Well that's a bit difficult to answer, but to sum it up in the simplest way possible, it's a single player title that's filled with mystery, suspense, grotesque horror, FPS mechanics, and most importantly, insanely good atmosphere and clever puzzles that are fun to solve. While that might sound like a typical horror game, there's actually quite a lot more to it than that. All I can say is that Scorn genuinely surprised me in quite a few ways that I did not expect. Without further ado, welcome to a review of Scorn. Quick disclaimer before we get started. This product is being reviewed on PC. A review copy was provided by Kepler Interactive for the purpose of this review. Gaming Instincts is an Amazon affiliate and does gain financial benefits if you choose to purchase this product on this page. This review may also contain minor spoilers and Scorn is a game that is best experienced completely spoiler free. We try keeping the spoilers to a minimum as possible so your first experience is not ruined. Before we get into the nitty gritty of Scorn's gameplay and what makes it so special to me, I believe it's worth discussing a bit about the background of this title and how it originally came to fruition. Scorn has quite the roller coaster of a development history. The game was originally announced back in 2014 that showcased pre-alpha footage for a Kickstarter campaign that was not successful. Even though the Kickstarter didn't go as planned, the developer continued to work hard on the game. Ebb Software was planning to release Scorn in two parts, but then in January of 2015, the company received private funding for their title and went into full production in February of 2015. In 2017, Ebb Software launched another Kickstarter with the goal of 150,000 euros that was reached in September of that same year. Then in August of 2018, Ebb Software announced that Scorn would release as a full single packaged product instead of the original two part release. Fast forward to May of 2020, the developer announced that the game would be published on PC and as a timed exclusive for only the Xbox Series X and Series S running at 4K resolution and 60fps. Ebb Software also stated that they did not want to optimize or release the game on previous generation platforms because it would hurt the overall experience and be a waste of development time. Yes, Scorn is a game that is only available on the new generation hardware. With that short history lesson out of the way, it's time we dive into talking about the game itself and why Scorn is such a horrific masterpiece. Talking about Scorn is a bit challenging, because the whole idea of the game is all about exploring, solving puzzles, and getting past combat encounters. The game is not a walking simulator whatsoever, and the story is told throughout the lore itself, exploration, and environments. Scorn's storytelling reminded me a lot of how Elden Ring and the Dark Souls universe usually does it where you're just thrown into the world and no one is holding your hand or telling you where to go. You're the master of your own adventure and you must figure out where to go and what to do. Scorn is a much more linear game obviously and a bit more directed in terms of pathways, but discovering every corner and studying the environment is the key to success. The world itself is designed like a labyrinth and it's filled with grotesque looking alien lifeforms and organic fleshy material. The walls themselves are alive. You have no idea if the hallway you're about to walk through is safe or not or what's hiding behind the next corner. Another really creepy aspect is the machinery itself. Even the movement of metal and mechanical parts will scare the living crap out of you. Scorn blew my mind away at how good they managed to mix both organic material and mechanical together to give it the extra danger horror factor and just how much it adds to the overall art style. What's also fascinating is that each area you walk into usually has some sort of a clue to a giant environmental puzzle that you have to solve. Then there are also smaller puzzles like figuring out how to move a piece of machinery in order to gain entry into the next area. While I'd love to go into details of how some of the puzzles work themselves, it would actually be a disservice to explain them to you. Scorn is not a game that is to be spoiled because once it's spoiled, it's not as interesting to play through. And part of the fun is solving the puzzles themselves and then going, aha! The game is also filled with interconnected shortcuts similar to the design of the Souls titles. So, if you're into that kind of exploration, then you will be a happy camper. Some people may be upset that the game doesn't feature any kind of a map system, or a way of being able to tell where you've been or where you currently are. However, that is part of the intended design. At first, you might get a bit confused at what you should be doing and where you need to go. But after a while, you will get used to it. Many areas in Scorn look similar, so it's quite easy to get lost for a bit. But after you do a bit of walking back and forth, the rooms will be imprinted into your brain, especially after you unlock the interconnected shortcuts. Do not be afraid to explore. This game rewards you for your discovery, and I absolutely love that. Scorn does have full-on FPS combat mechanics. At a certain point during your horrific journey, you will come across weapons that will aid you in combat. The shooting is traditional, and there are several organic weapons that you will gain access to. The combat itself is serviceable and nothing overly special. However, it is the art and the way these weapons are animated that I liked. 
the reloading animations are impressive and add to the overall atmosphere. Shall we take a quick peek at the reload animations next to the ammo station? And what I mean by how well this game combines lore and art together with gameplay segments. These animations also showcase how grotesque the world of Scorn really is. As you explore this crazy looking organic world, you also come across health stations and ammo stations. As you can imagine, this is how you can replenish your health and restock on some of the ammo from your previous battles. The attention to detail to the way the player heals themselves and replenishes ammo is quite awesome. I love it when games take their lore very seriously and develop the mechanics around the lore itself. Ebb Software made sure that all basic fundamentals of FPS gameplay is included in Scorn, but it's done in such a way where it doesn't turn into a completely different genre once those mechanics kick in. Basically, they did a very good job at balancing the horror elements in combat while straying true to the sense of danger, feel of the world, and the lore. Even though I knew I had weapons, it wasn't always the best idea to use them, and they didn't really make me feel less scared either. A lot of survival horror games tend to get a lot less tense once the player has gained access to some sort of weaponry. Well, I'm happy to say that Scorn does not have this problem, and the game is still suspenseful and tense as ever. As I previously mentioned, the universe of Scorn is quite disgusting, ugly, beautiful, disturbing, and fantastic all at the same time. Yes, I know that sounds strange, but that's the beauty of it. The artists have put an insane amount of work and dedication to making this world feel believable, and it absolutely shows. So massive kudos to the art team over at Ebb Software. The alien lifeforms perfectly fit the overall aesthetic of the game's universe. They look like exactly how you'd expect them to look like in a world like this. Having consistency throughout your universe is very important, and Ebb Software did a great job at staying consistent in the art department. The game is divided into five different acts, and each area usually changes the scenery, but it's the later areas that are just jaw-dropping. If you are a fan of H.R. Geiger, who's mostly famous for grotesque and disturbing artwork in the Alien franchise, then you will absolutely fall in love with Scorn's universe. I have zero complaints when it comes to the art style of this game and its overall visuals. The game runs very well and looks beautiful while utilizing Unreal Engine 4 even on my outdated NVIDIA 1660 Ti GPU. One of the most important aspects of any survival horror title is the audio design. Score and audio engineers deserve multiple platinum medals in this department. And don't worry artists, you do as well. The audio design in this game is mind-blowing. The ambience in this game is out of this world. When you walk into a new room or witnessing some sort of new important lore reveal, the audio cues start kicking in and it just sounds absolutely incredible. Not only does it make the game seem more scary and atmospheric, but also gets you both excited and nervous because you can't wait to see what happens next. But at the same time, you are afraid to take that next step forward. Basically, the audio does a phenomenal job of making you uncomfortable and completely messes with your head, and that is exactly what a survival horror game should be doing. Earlier, I mentioned that the movement of machinery adds a lot of the art style and feel of the game, but it's when you combine it with the awesome sound effects of metal and steel kicking into gear that really gives it that full horror effect. Here. Have a look at this clip and listen to how creepy and atmospheric everything is while taking a quick ride on this elevator. And don't worry, it doesn't really spoil anything. Scorn is filled with a ton of elevators that you'll be using to get across a variety of platforms and rooms. The sound of those elevators just gives me the creeps and shivers. The alien creatures that you come across also sound very disturbing. I don't know what's more impressive, how Ebb Software has perfectly matched what the ugly looking aliens sound like based on their looks, or how just creepy their noises are when they're crawling up on you or getting alerted. In combination of all the sound effects, background ambience, and the storytelling, Scorn ends up landing in a league of its own and is far above the rest when it comes to overall atmosphere. There is really not much to complain when it comes to Scorn. My only gripe is that the adventure is over a bit too soon. 
If you are decent at solving puzzles and good at figuring stuff out quickly, then you can get through this horror of a journey in roughly 4-6 to six hours, with 5 most likely being the average length that it would take to beat the game. However, what you're going to experience in these 4-6 to six hours is nothing but pure quality, out of this world atmosphere, a ton of disturbing and gross moments, and most importantly, just a fantastic experience overall. If you're into games that are filled with exploration, discovery, cleverness, patience, immersion, and a lot of jaw-dropping moments, then Scorn will be right up your alley. To sum it up, I need a sequel as soon as possible. Although, I must be transparent here that Scorn is not for everyone. If you are not into getting your brain teased, or you do not like getting easily lost and you find the lack of a radar or map frustrating, then this game might not be up your alley. It's also worth mentioning that the pacing is quite slow, and if you're looking for more of an action horror survival title, then this game is 100% not for you, and I suggest you look elsewhere. I, however, love a variety of horror games, and as long as this game is well designed and in what it's trying to accomplish, then I'm all for it. I personally fell in love with this game from the beginning and all the way to the end. I think it's designed very well, and you could tell it was beautifully handcrafted with lots of labor of love and soul in terms of its art, audio, level design, and gameplay systems. Scorn was designed with a clear goal in mind, which was to create a believable, disturbing, but yet interesting and horrific world with clever puzzle mechanics and unique ideas that is being begged to be explored, and it sure has achieved the primary objective. With that being said, Scorn will be receiving a final verdict of a masterpiece that is 10 out of 10. Kepler Interactive, thank you for supporting Ebsoftware on their journey in creating this magnificent experience for the horror fans. And now, please, if you don't mind, tell them to go back to work and make a sequel after they're done celebrating. And that concludes Gaming Instinct's review of Scorn. To see more videos and reviews like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, this has been Sam Lee. And until next time.